Okay, Roland Bolt 100. Um, so this is a 100 watt uh, tube uh, power amp with a um, well solid state preamp. So uh, I've been starting to disassemble. This is the preamp board, the solid state one. It's um, all the pots are attached. So I just unscrew those. Those. Um, this is. This is the power amp, the filtering, uh, face inverter. And the good thing about this, I don't think this is gonna take um, that long to do a tube preamp with this. Um, haven't really decided at this point um, what I wanna do, but I, I think it's either a Uber shell or a Bogner Uber shell or a SLO 100. Um, I think the power amp, it's, it's fairly clean. It's supposedly a uh, Fender clean style power amp. So um, yeah, an, an SLO would be perfect. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards uh, Uber Shell though. Uh, so we'll see. So, I mean, the power tubes are all separate sockets. Uh, and they're all wired up. So I don't have to mess with any, the bias, the face inverter. I don't have to mess with filtering. Maybe check the check the state, all the capacitors, but I, I don't see that they're leaking anything, so they should be should be fine. They're not bulging or anything. Uh, the board looks a bit sticky. Uh, it could be some kind of coating or something. So uh, try to clean that. But I mean, the amp worked. Uh, it's not like it's um, non-running. So it's uh, it's actually in good working condition it's just um it's just a preamp that's a little bit boring so uh, i'm gonna just cut this out and uh, start thinking about uh what, what kind of preamp i want to stick in here um so yeah we'll be back all right a short update the board is out quite brutally i just cut the connections um what i do always is i i always leave a short so i can identify later on if i if i need to look it up what cable went where uh, you can kind of figure that out with the, the colors of everything so i mean um speaker board is staying um so basically i just have to figure out what these wires are they might just be power uh low power for the the preamp board um one of them might be the the signal into the power amp so i'll look that up otherwise i just see on the back here i have a um right there main in so that will be equivalent to just uh inputting straight to your uh, power amp so i can always hook that up uh this is for the um the yeah the pre pre out so this i'm just gonna cut uh, right here, the FX send and return is already hooked up, so I'll 
be saving these and, and see if I can just hook that up. Uh, some ground points there, some ground points at the input. Uh, the input jacks are also uh, wired up. So it's a bit short, but um, I'll see if I can can use them. So the new board, uh, it's, it's not a whole lot of space in here. I could possibly fit this, but I'm, I'm going to cut this down to size so it, it fits uh, a little bit more comfortable. Um, so yeah, let's do that next and um, look at the, uh, the preamp. All right. Okay, so um, the amp is now nearly completed, actually. Uh, a lot of things has, has happened since um, I last left you. Um, I did go with a different type of board, um, a slim profile board like this, um, uh, mainly to save space, and that's what I had available. I didn't want to wait for, for new parts. Um, as you can see, the input tube, uh, distortion tube, uh, cathode follower there, uh, and this board here is all stock uh, from the Roland Bolt uh, power amp, which sounds really good actually. It's a, it's a very clean, um, I guess it's, it's their take on the Music Man uh, kind of thing. Um, however, I do have some some issues. Um, the amp works and sounds actually surprisingly good, but uh, my my aim was to build a uh, an Uber shell, a Bogner Uber shell. Uh, I did find the schematics uh, online, and I um, actually found a couple of different one, and I uh, sort of uh, they all had some minor changes and uh, maybe some errors. Uh, but when you find schematics online, you always have to account for that. So uh, I think I um, have uh, something that should sound very distorted. So I mean, I have uh, so one, two, three, four gain stages. Um, the fifth one, the cathode follower, isn't counted as, as a gain stage. But I have four gain stage and everything about this circuit is very high gain. However, <laughs> this amp puts out as little gain as maybe as a cranked plexi. So that's my that's my first issue right there. And I I can promise you I have looked over the circuit a million times. Can't really find a fault from my side. I mean I, I can never promise the the schematics I found online is, is correct, but to my experience this amp and this i mean this connection this circuit uh with four gain stages should put up a massive amount of gain however it is not on the good side of that is i do like the gain amount from from a crank plexi that that is sort of my my go-to sound so i don't necessarily need more gain um I always boost the amp um, with a compressor pedal or boost or something. So I, I get up to like comfortable lead levels. Uh, so that, that's the first problem. But I need I have to say this. Um, the sound is phenomenal. Um, the feeling and the how it reacts, how it responds, it, it's just great. Um, that's why I wanted to build... Uh, the Uber shell from the beginning because I I had one uh, before and I it, it had way too much gain for me uh, but the feel and um, the way it, the character of the distortion was was just great to play around with uh, for lead playing so um, thankfully this amp has the character the feel it does not however have the the amounts of gain so I. I don't know if I should poke around more and try to find the fault or just leave this as a happy accident. I do think I'm going to go with the latter. So um, the second problem has to do with uh, the stock transformer on the Roland Bolt. And this is very odd 
for the for being a um for being made in japan i mean made in japan that is to me that speaks quality and like craftsmanship and and all that good stuff uh, however if you look at the the rating there on the the heater uh the heater winding the 6.3 volt it only puts out 3.9 amps and this is a 100 watt amp uh granted i mean there's no um preamp but i mean preamp tubes such as the 12 ax7 only consume about 300 milliamps so that's pretty sparse um the six l6s that are in this amp consumes about uh, 900 milliamps so almost one amp uh, so in stock configuration with four 6l6 gcs and one phase inverter that's all stock that adds up to exactly 3.9 amps and that is that is weird because all the amps and all the schematics and all manufacturers i've seen always have like a safety margin or uh, something like that but this amp is like on the money 3.9 amps so it's already like almost overloading that winding so that is that's weird uh if let's say if you were to put uh four el34s in here el34s consumes like one and a half amp that would overshoot that rating right away so if you own an roll and bolt amp don't put el34s in there and now you know why um i actually discovered this uh way too late <laughs> i had already put in three extra preamp tubes 12 ax 7s uh total amount of 900 milliamps so i i overshot that number by uh 900 milliamps almost one amp uh, and that is substantial but i mean the amp worked uh the transformer didn't get hot uh, it didn't catch on fire uh, but I was wondering if the sound, the weird, uh, the loss of distortion came from a weak filament uh, uh, voltage, not voltage, the <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, so, so I tried to pull two out of the four uh, power tubes, uh, but that leads me to problem number three which has to do with um, these two filter caps. Uh, as you can see, they're all rated at 315 voltage uh, volts. That one is rated at 500. But the thing is, uh, these two are fine at 300 because that's the, that's the measurement I got from these. But on these two, they are uh, like solid at 500 volts and they're only rated for 315 volts so i don't know <laughs> they look pretty stock to me and uh, i mean it seems fair that you have 500 volts on them so i don't know if that's uh, a fault with like the labeling or, or something like that i mean i i noticed that uh, on my first startup uh, so I don't know but they're not leaking they're not bulging and they haven't exploded yet and by the way I'm using safety glasses whenever I turn this on um, I plan to switch out yeah maybe all the capacitors later on but for testing purposes I mean if, if they've lasted 30 years I think they could last a few more startups so that that is weird and the problem is when you pull two tubes um, the voltages will rise even more and i do do not want to push these uh, capacitors beyond like beyond their beyond specs so what i did was i switched over from the 220 volt tap to the 240 that sort of like a variac that brings down the whole uh that br brings down everything on the 
uh, on the app. And um, that sounds good. Um, it did not, oddly enough, uh, help with my gain, lack of gain issue. So um, that is uh, uh, quite interesting. But however, I can be a little bit more safe. I'm now at 450 volt uh, on these two and uh, I'm not over the limit on the, the filament uh, winding there. So I'm going to run this amp like a 50 watt amp from now on. Uh, doesn't really do anything and I, I like the tone. Um, the alternative is to replace the transformer with something I have on the shelf. But honestly, if it sounds good, uh, it's that is that is fine. So uh, um, I only did the preamp section, the the output, and I also uh, could leave in the this board here with your send return, even a headphone, and a line out that should definitely work. Uh, speaker out. Uh, the controls are just on there right now. Gain master volume and this weird tone stack that Bogner uses in the Uber shell. I even have a triode pentode switch there, 60 watt to 100 watt. Um, of course, 100 watt is now 50 watt on this amp, but I mean, volume wise, it's, I, I can't hear a difference. Um, so let me play you some examples uh, of where we at. I uh, also want to bring out my pedal board and boost this, give it some delays and stuff. Uh, a more in-depth detail uh, video will come shortly. This is just uh, me recording the, the cabinet here in my working place. So let's check that out. So this is what you get uh, straight into this amp. <laughs> Yeah, so not a lot of gain. Uh, let's um, let's push it with a boost and see where we are uh, right now. I don't know if you can hear this, but the tone uh, is excellent. And uh, once bo boosted, uh, this is the tone is the, the gain is more than enough. So let's add some delay and see what we get. <laughs> I'm very happy with this uh, happy mistake and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this um, a more in-depth uh, review or a demo comes soon all right thanks for watching <laughs>